Hi everyone, this is Maureen Hunter from Astia and I've got my Monday message for you. I would just like to say that I'm thinking of all the people in America with the hurricanes because as you can see here in Australia, it's coming into spring and it's while there's a slight breeze, it's quite warm and gentle. So my thoughts are with you. So today I've been actually thinking about how do some people overcome adversity in their life and it may be grief and some people don't what's the differing factor what's the reason that makes someone heal well and other people maybe not and I'm sure it's something that you might have thought of yourself I know I did I spent a lot of time thinking about it years ago and when I actually think about it and when I think about people like um, uh, Frankel who was in the concentration camps and Nelson Mandela a lot of it was that they decided to um, to not make good of their situation, but they decided to focus on something other than the situation that they were in. And that sounds a bit flippant, so let me explain what I mean. I think in grief, the first thing really that is the crux to helping you get through this is to decide that you're going to. And you might not know how, you might not... Um, even believe that you will, but by actually just instead of believing I'm going to get through this, think about this instead. Think about deciding that you don't want to be in emotional pain for the rest of your life. And that's your number one decision. I don't want to be in this pain for the rest of my life. Now as soon as you've made that decision, then it's just about a very gentle and subtle focus. So almost in making that decision, you've decided that you're turning your back on what you don't want, which is the pain. And I know I've spoken about this before, but then it opens up a fast array of things in front of you. And this isn't actually about ignoring the pain, uh, suppressing your emotions or anything like that. Once you've made that decision that you don't want to be in that pain anymore, then you turn your back on it and even though your day might be 90% full of pain, that little nugget, that 10% or 5% or whatever, is actually this belief that you you will get through this, that you've, you've made that decision. And then the last and third most important thing is every single day you must fill yourself up by using tools that are going to support you in your grief, by using things that are going to actually help you as you journey forward, and by filling your mind with some positive thought or some inspiration or something that's going to actually just shift that a little so you've got a little bit of good in between the bad. And I know that's a really hard thing to do early on in grief, but it doesn't have to be a massive thing. It can be a tiny, tiny little step, and it will gradually move you forward very slowly and they're the sorts of things that I'm going to actually be covering on my free call which I've got coming up if you haven't registered for it it's um, Monday night in America Tuesday morning in Australia um, I'll be covering stuff like that and a whole lot more and it would be really great to have you join me so I'll put the details under this video and wherever you are in the world have a great day bye for now